Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I know I look crazy right now, I actually just got out of the shower and I took a nice little like fall cozy shower today. I used the Dove uh, Cinnamon Pumpkin Pie body wash and scrub. It smells so good, I feel so like nice and smooth. And yeah, I just wanted to get into like the, the fall spooky vibes today. And I wanted to start my vlog early because I ended up getting up a lot later than I wanted to because last night, uh, this is also part of the reason I wanted to start filming now is because last night was crazy and I wanted to tell you guys about it. So I'm going to do like a tiny little story time thing while I do my skincare. So yeah, basically, and I'm going to try to not make it like super long because I tend to do that. So basically me and Steven, we went to the Big E last night, which I think I talked to you guys about this in my mukbang that went up on thursday if you didn't watch that video go check it out um but yeah it's like a big like state fair it was fun um that's not really part of the story but so we ended up getting home a little after like 10 o'clock and as we're pulling into the driveway we had all the windows up but as we pulled into the driveway we heard this like not like howling, but like kind of. And I was like, why does that sound like a person? And Steven thought it was like a dog or something. But I was like, I don't know. I think it sounds like a person. And we pull into the driveway and we hear something like again, but it sounded like close. So I was like getting free. I'm like, I don't know. I was getting like so scared. You know what I mean? Like my heart was like racing. Cause I always assume the worst. I watch like too many horror movies, too many like crime documentaries. I was scared. So. I'm like trying to look, but I don't see anything. And then Steven like kind of has his door open a little bit. And he's like, there's someone in the driveway. And I'm like, what do you mean? Cause like our driveway is like a little long, not like super long, but we were all the way at the end by like the garage. And from his angle, it's easier to see like down the driveway. And he had his door open a little bit. And I'm like, what do you mean? Cause I'm trying to look and we have the backup camera on and I don't see anything, but then like all of a sudden I see this like person like moving down the driveway. I'm like, <sighs> no, I'm like, lock the doors, lock the doors, lock the doors. Like, I'm like telling, <laughs> and I'm like, you need to call 911. You need to call the police. Da, 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 da. And then I was also like, because I'm always worried it's going to be one of those like scam things where they like, you know how people like set up like. I don't know, they just do like weird stuff. They try to like lure people in by acting like they need help or whatever. You know what I mean? So then of course I was getting like whatever, but then I was also like, well, what if she really does need help? Like what if she's like being like chased or followed or you know what I mean? I was like thinking for her sake, I was like, oh my gosh, like what if something's wrong? So, but she like disappeared back down the driveway and I was like, well, we need to call the police. So we call 911. We tell them that we hear this woman. She's like, yelling okay she's like screaming she's like in distress and she's like basically came like flying down our driveway but now she like left and i don't know so they're like well we'll have an officer come by but then i'm like terrified i'm like i am not getting out of this car like i'm just not doing it because i was scared <laughs> i was really scared i was like oh, i can't i just can't do it and i was like asleep in the car because i was so 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 tired i was wide awake wide awake and uh we're like waiting i'm like i don't want to get out of the car so we're like sitting there and we thought it was like an officer because the car drove by like really slow but it's hard because we can't see because we're all the way at the end of the driveway um like in the back but we get a call a few minutes later and they were calling steve back and they're like oh apparently they located the woman and she's she apparently lost her puppy or lost her dog i was like oh so apparently that's what she was doing is she was like trying to find her dog and this lady I mean like she was like screaming she was in such a, and I get it it's your pet you know what I mean like I'm the same exact way with Pepe I I I'm a lunatic you know what I mean there's been a couple times that he's gotten out and I was like so upset I was like crying I was just yeah it was so I don't even blame her like I completely understand her reaction but like to come flying down our driveway like it was it was just crazy you know what I mean and I'm assuming she probably did it initially to like ask for help but I was like so scared oh, oh my god so then like of course I get into the <laughs> 
we get into the house we're like running i'm like don't grab anything from the car just go so we like get into the get into the house or whatever and we're like looking to see if we can like see her and we go to bed and you can like see her outside of our window she was like going up and down the road i don't know and i felt bad for her but it was like after 10 o'clock at night i couldn't even I don't think I'd be able to find anything. I couldn't see anything. We don't have a lot of good, like, street lights around here. It's, like, basically pitch black, you know? But, yeah, oh, my gosh, you guys. I was, like, tweaking out. <laughs> because I always think worst-case scenario. I'm, like, what if she's, like, this is a setup. And she has other people and we get, like, I, you know. I'm not even going to go into graphics here. But, yeah. So, that was my night last night. <laughs> the biggie was fun. Lots of I mean, it wasn't as busy as it usually is. It was still busy, but it was a lot of fun. It's just that, that really got my blood pumping. Like, my heart's racing. Like, imagine you're, like, sitting in your car, and this person, you see them, like, coming out of the dark, just, like, cruising up your driveway, like, towards your car. I'm like, oh, my God. I was scared. <laughs> so, yeah. That was my, that was my fun for last night. And then I got up this morning. Not as early as I wanted to. But here we are we're starting the day off strong i got my like i said i got my spooky fall vibes in already with my nice nice little shower i did my skincare i've been really slacking on my skincare you guys like not even lying like i just i don't know i've just been lazy i just haven't been making like time for it so and knowing my luck this will like break me out again because <laughs> i feel like once i start my skincare i kind of break out and then it kind of smooths it out so be prepared to see a few breakouts in the next couple videos but I just want to get back into like a good routine because it just helps me feel more you know productive and together if I just like have a like a good routine going and yeah I feel good today I'm proud of what I've accomplished so far and today is going to be a good day okay guys we did just get to tj maxx so i'm gonna check out tj maxx and home goods today because i want to get stuff for my bedroom i don't want to get like too too much just because my bedroom is kind of small and i don't want it to feel like cluttered but i want a couple cute little things so we'll see but i wanted to show you guys quickly that i got my little straw toppers i was telling you guys about this one's a little ghost I ended up getting quite a few. So it wasn't at the Target closer to me. Me and Steven, we went on a drive the other day and they had like a Target in that area, a bigger one. So we went there and they had so much cute stuff. I got like some little ice molds. I got pumpkins, eyeballs. They have little ghosts. And then these little straw toppers. I got a ghost, a pumpkin, a black cat, an eyeball, a candy corn, I think that's all of them. They had like one other one. They had an owl one, which I don't know. It didn't feel very like, you know, like spooky Halloween-y to me. And I don't like owls. Like, I don't know what it is. They freak me out. I don't <laughs> like, there's just something like they just have these big giant eyes and their heads can turn like, Ooh, it like grosses me out. <laughs> it grosses me out even thinking about it. So yeah, uh, I don't like owls in case anyone was wondering. But you guys probably were not, but <laughs> I'll see you guys in TJ Maxx.
Okay, you guys, I just got out of TJ Maxx, and they had so much cute stuff that I really, really wanted, but I ended up only getting one thing. It's a candle. I'll show you guys. Last time I came, I felt like they really didn't have too much, and now it was, like, so... It was just perfect. I loved it. There was, like, so many pumpkins, so many ghosts. I'm just feeling, like, all the fall vibes <laughs> at TJ Maxx today. So it was really, really hard to not buy things that I don't need. And I wasn't able to get like a whole ton of clips in there because they had their music like blaring. I almost got worried because I thought that they like opened at 10 or something because I got here around 930 and there was like nobody in the parking lot. It was no man's land, but they were open. But I got this cute little candle. It's like reminding me of that like anthropology. I've seen a lot of people with those like anthropology uh, like cups and I want them so bad. But And I saw this and I was like, that's cute. It was only $13 and it's got like, it's like pink and it's got these like little ghosties. I think that that's just like adorable. Like I just love it. I think it's cute. And it's nice. The scent is very like refreshing. It's not like too strong. It's not bland. It's bland like it's food <laughs> no but it's really really good guys guess where I am right now that beep definitely gave it away <laughs> yeah I'm at Target I went to Home Goods and they have a lot of good stuff but do you ever like go somewhere and it's like almost like too much stuff to look at I was feeling like super super overwhelmed and I just I ended up leaving with just nothing so I'm here just to like look around really quick I'm not gonna be here in here very long I'm like telling myself this. I'm speaking it into existence. I'm not going to be here long. I'm not going to buy much stuff. I'm just here to look. I want to try to find... I don't even know. I'm just looking. I'm going to be in and out very, very quickly. <laughs> I'll see you guys later and hopefully I haven't done too much damage. I wanted to try their new native scents because apparently they came out with like a bunch of fall ones. But the only one that they have right now is apple butter and strudel, which... I don't know, it doesn't smell like that at all to me. It's not bad, I just, I don't know what it smells like, but that's not what it smells like to me, so I don't know. I was hoping they had the other ones. They had like an autumn rain and some honey apple crisp, I think, which I'm not a big like apple person in general, but I really wanted to try them and I'm sad because this is all they have. And I think I'm gonna skip on this. If you guys try this, let me know, but I think I'm gonna skip on this one for now. This. this is so cute. They have this one too. Ooh. That's scary. Ooh. I love all of 
cookies. I want them all. <laughs> Oh, they have some signs up. They don't have all of them, but... Okay, but these are actually terrifying, like this. <laughs> they have Beetlejuice, they have Pennywise, they have Freddy, they have Jack. I like them, they're cute, but they're like actually horrifying. Oh, and they have Jason, too. These are pretty cool. I think they're just like little keychains, yeah. This one, this one scared me. <laughs> Y'all, I need to be like chained, strapped to my house every time I step outside the house. Like that's crazy, $65 later. And like for what? On what? That's not true. I got some cute stuff. I just had to come to Target again. I didn't find anything at Home Goods, and I was like, well, maybe Target has, like, more stuff out. Maybe. And I found some cute stuff that I really like. I don't want to show you now because I want to show you uh, once I actually, like, decorate my room and stuff. And, actually, I've never had an Alani before. And I hear, like, everybody talking about them for, like, ever. I feel like that's not even, like, anything new anymore. But I've never had one, so I wanted to try one. And I ended up getting this Cosmic Stardust because I looked, uh, I was trying to find the one that had, like, the least amount because I figured that one was, like, the most popular. I'm, so, I'm, like, sweating. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, I wanted to try this. I'm not huge on, like, energy drinks. I don't, every energy drink I've ever had tastes like batteries. I always say, I'm like, it tastes like battery acid. <laughs> but I'm going to try it with you guys because, I don't know, I'm just... I mean, it smells okay. I don't even know technically what flavor it is. I really didn't look like anything into it. Honestly, this is not bad. I feel like a lot of energies have this really nasty aftertaste. And this one almost just tastes like grape. Like, it doesn't taste like necessarily like chemically. These are actually pretty decent. But I don't want to, like, I don't know. I, I really don't need, like, a new addiction, so I probably won't be getting these very often just because I have, like, a very addictive personality. Like, once I start something or I like something, I feel like I, I become, like, super, like, hyper-focused on it for a hot minute, and then it kind of, like, dies down or whatever. So I really don't need my new, like, obsession to be Alani energy drinks. But yeah, this actually isn't bad. I was scared. You guys, if you guys have tried these, let me know like what flavors you like. If you don't like them, let me know. But this one I actually don't mind. It's pretty good. Okay, guys, I'm starving. So I'm going to head home. I'm going to make a quick lunch. And then after that, we're going to decorate my room. I'm so excited. Like I'm feeling so good. Like I said earlier, like the fall vibes are just like feeling good. The leaves are changing. It's just so pretty. Hope I'll, I'll try to get like a clip so you guys can see it. But it's just like... I don't know. I'm just like having a good day. I feel good. I haven't, I've been feeling a lot better about like vlogging. I, this is really the, the only, the second time I've really vlogged, but I don't know. I'm not super like anxious or uncomfortable. You know, I haven't necessarily done a lot of like filming and shooting in front of a lot of people, but I've had like my camera out more and you know what I mean? I definitely just like feel better about it. So that's, that's a good thing. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys when I get home. Okay guys, I'm back. I had my lunch and I wanted to show you everything that I ended up getting at Target. I got this because I've seen everybody talking about this brand and like their face masks and everything. Of course, my location when I checked it said that they like no longer sell the full face sheet mask apparently, but this is a hydrogel eye mask. So I'm gonna try these just, you know, just for funsies. And then for my dresser, I ended up getting this cute plant, it's ginormous, <laughs> uh, but it's cute. I mean, it's it's very like neutral, which I like, and it's got these like little kind of specks on it. I don't know if you can tell, and it's pretty, you know what I mean? It's got like color, but it's still like kind of neutral, which I like, I like that vibe. So I think that these will go like really well together. These are cute. 
And then also for my dresser, I just love like candles. I like to layer candles. And I got this oud. How do you pronounce is it oud wood? O U D. I always feel like I see people pronounce it differently. Oud, oud, wood and amber. And apparently everybody really likes these candles. They got like a funky shape to them. And they had this and they had like a bigger version, but I just wanted like the little one. And I love this. I love the smell of it. It's nice and like cozy. It reminds me of like the Christmas tree shop, if you know what I mean, where it's like kind of like spicy, cinnamony. Like this is what it reminds me of. I love that store. Did they close all of them? Maybe just like around me. I think that they're all like closed though, which is really sad. But yeah, I thought that was super cute. And then the last thing that I got was for my bed. I just got this cute little throw pillow. It's pretty big. It's a decent size. And they had this for like 10 bucks. But yeah, I thought this would be like cute and cozy to throw on my bed. And that's basically everything that I got. I feel like $65 like for, oh, and then I did get also um, those Pillsbury chocolate chip cookies. They're like the pre made like square ones that you just throw in the oven. And then I bought those Pillsbury little pumpkin cookies. I don't know, I don't think they're sugar cookies, but I've seen a lot of people like stack, the, like bake them on top of each other. So you put the chocolate chip cookie down and then you add the little ghost or pumpkin one like on top and bake it that way. Um, Cause I thought that that would be like a fun thing to do later. So I wanna put these on with you guys and then we can go up and do like a little bit of decorating. I wish I had more. I wanted to get like some light, but they didn't have a decent selection of like lights that I was looking for. Apply texture side under eyes. Leave on for a loop, 10 minutes. Tap remaining serum into skin. Okay. Oh, that's cute. Aw, it says loops. Ooh, they feel slimy. I should probably take my glasses off, huh? Ooh. I'm so blind, I cannot see without my glasses on. Let's try it. I can't get this thing open. Out of... Oh my gosh, hello? How do you get these out? The... <laughs> I'm like the only person I know that like needs directions for these. Okay, so you put the textured side on your eye. What's the textured side? They both look exactly the same. That seems very low. <laughs> Am I the only person who doesn't know how to put on an eye mask? Like, are you kidding? Okay, so it's on there. And then I don't know though, like what is, I thought that they would feel different, but they don't feel different. It said the textured side. Well, neither one of the sides feel textured. I've never met anyone who doesn't know how to put on an eye mask before. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm confused. This might just be like a waste of 10 minutes, but I guess we'll see what happens. Leave it to me, honestly. <laughs> oh my gosh. I have a package that I got in the mail and I really don't remember what I ordered. So I'm going to open it with you guys because it just says Amazon. And I didn't want to check my Amazon account. I wanted it to be like kind of a, you know, a fun little surprise. excited. Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> I got this ramen. So like I've been seeing everybody eating like ramen recently, the bulldog ramen again. And I feel like people were doing that like a long time ago. That was like a trend and I feel like it's becoming like a thing now again. And I honestly totally forgot really about these and they're so good. I really like the, um, the pink bag. I think it's like carbonara or something, but they didn't have it. So I ended up getting this like cheese one. So I think I'll actually try this in like a mukbang pretty soon, probably in a couple weeks, maybe, maybe like two, three weeks. So if you're interested, definitely check out that mukbang. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really excited. It's so spicy. I'm so bad with spice. I put like this much. I do like a little bloop. 
Okay, so I'm going to leave these on for like a couple more minutes because it says to leave it on for like 10 minutes. And then we'll go upstairs and we'll decorate my bedroom, which I'm so excited for. And then we're going to make those cookies. I can't wait. Also, if you know how to, how to put these on and how to tell which side is which, definitely let me know. I feel so incompetent right now, but really, I don't know. I can't tell. Like, both sides felt exactly the same when I pulled them out of the package, so... I know this sounds so dumb, but like if you know how I can tell which side is supposed to go which way, <laughs> please let me know. Also, I'm getting like so much scent off of this. It's like throwing so much scent even without it being lit. And it has like a little like wood wick, which apparently burns really nicely. I'm like so excited. Everything is just like so... I've said it so many times today. Like it's just so like fun and folly and I'm just like loving it. I'm having a great time today, you guys. <laughs> I hope you guys are also having a really good day. Okay, you guys the cookies are finally out of the oven and they came out so good like look isn't that so cute i just used the well you'll see it i used the pillsbury uh chocolate chip cookies and then i just threw these on top i was struggling because <laughs> i was trying to press the chocolate chip cookie dough down with a spoon and i sprayed it and everything so it wouldn't stick but even with pressing it, it was like sticking and kind of crumbling them apart. So I was like, okay, maybe I'll try to use, you know, the actual uh, like pumpkin cookie itself, you know, I'll put it on top and then I'll try to push it down. But then that started making that kind of spread and fall apart. So I don't know, I tried the spoon again and then finally I just ended up using my hands to push down the chocolate chip cookie and put these on top. Um, and I ended up cooking them at 350 for like, 17 18 minutes i think and they came out super super good i think they look really really cute actually i'm excited i don't know if you'll be able to taste the sugar cookie because i feel like the chocolate chip is going to be very overpowering but we'll try it honestly I feel like you can, can taste both. Mm. Yeah, I think so. Because you definitely get that sugar cookie in there. This is actually a really good combo. And the chocolate chips aren't like too overpowering or anything. Mm. Mm. That's actually really delicious. I've seen it everywhere. This is definitely like not anything new, but <laughs> I had to try it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you liked it. I know for sure it's going to be a lot longer than my last vlog. So let me know if you guys like these like kind of longer vlog styles. But yeah, I had a lot of fun today. It was definitely a lot more comfortable and easy for me to film. So... I'm definitely feeling good about like the vlogs and stuff and I know just like with practice I'll I'll start feeling a lot more comfortable and it'll get easier as it goes but 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.